What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with another informational goddamn video that can change your damn life and change your perspective on who you invest in, okay? Okay, so we are going to get into the rabbit, okay? Some of my followers is like, where the rabbit at? Okay, I got shout out to Twilight. Love me some Twilight, okay? Twilight is the name of my rabbit, okay? So let's get into it, all right? If you are a rabbit, you were born in a rabbit year. This does not mean that you love rabbits in any shape or form, but this does mean that you were born in 1939. 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011, and 2023, okay? You are the yang, okay? You the yin, you the yin, the Y-I-N. You're not the yang, so you are the other half of the yang. So it's really good for you as a rabbit to be with somebody who is the opposite of you, okay? So they would be the yang because you are the yin, all right? So uh, we're not going to get into who's the yang and the yin, but a tiger is a yang, so I'm a yang. So if a lot of y'all are rabbits, you really mesh well with me because I'm the peanut butter to your jelly. You know what I'm saying? We the yin and the yang. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get into it. Now, your key attribute is that you're very refined. You're very poised. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody taking you out of your motherfucking element, all right? But the thing is, you fussy. You be complaining. You be bothering people. You be aggregative, you know? I done made a word, aggregative. You know what I'm saying? That's how you be. You be annoyed by people that's in other cars, cussing them out. Like, you real fussy, okay? I had to open the window. So you could be a very fussy person. As a rabbit, okay, always complaining, <laughs> just naggy, okay? All right, so as a rabbit, we are going to talk about your love. God damn, people could be calling you off the chain. You could be like, God damn, okay? So let's get into the rabbit, all right? So let's start with luck because I do that for everybody. So the rabbit luck. Luck comes for rabbits when they choose the right lover or partner. Ain't that a bitch, okay? So if you keep choosing bums, that's why your energy ain't right. You know, it's good to learn this shit, okay? It's good to learn everybody's stuff so you can a la carte what makes sense for you in your life. You know what I mean? So luck comes for rabbits when they choose the right lover or partner. They can also find luck by buying or from selling a artifact, um... Uh, in toxic, in tox, ex toxic clothing, uh, they, decor, or uh, to wealthy customers. So you guys could be somebody who sells your old Louis Vuitton bags, or you sell J's. You know what I'm saying? You could have been growing up like, oh yeah, I'm about to sell my J's. Like you, yours ain't fucked up. You know, you could sell them, or you used to resell shit like that. All right, so. You have a lot of luck with, you know, selling arts. You could steal arts and sell it. You know, everybody got a jug, okay? But you could sell arts. You could sell antiques. You could sell exotic clothing, okay? So you could be somebody who has, like, like bomb fabrics, and you could fucking sell them all over the world, okay? You also could have a bomb-ass house. Like, your shit may not be expensive, but everybody want what's in your house because of the way you put it together, all right? Um... And you, you will have wealthy customers to send it to. You know how people are like, I don't got nobody to sell it to you. Like, you know what? I got some people I can sell it to. So a rabbit is always integrated in those little pockets of wealth, okay? Now let's talk about a rabbit's health. Rabbit's health are rarely, uh, you know, squeezed wheel because they are not physical or mentally strong and they stress, they stress a lot, okay? They stress pretty badly. So a lot of you guys, you, you could be up and down, you know, uh, you know, having a, a STD or SI or S to whatever the fuck it is. It could be very stressful for you, especially if you have something like that because you guys, and I'm not saying y'all have any STDs. I'm just saying you pick up a lot of stress. You Things upset you very easily, okay? Uh, but but despite this, you know, you live a long life. You know, rabbits live to about 14 years. You're like, God damn, Okay. So, you know, despite you being very stressful, despite you being very upset, uh, you do have a reputation of being uh, long-lived, okay? But rabbits really need a peaceful home life, and they need to avoid too much alcohol 
or rich foods or even limit such things as olive oil okay as this could give them problems with their liver or their gallbladders they aren't physically strong enough for heavy work as they may damage or weaken their backs okay so so a lot of y'all be like oh i got back problems bitch i i, I can't pick that up okay so you be the first one to be like i can't help you move don't ask me to help you move you could be one of those people okay you got to be very careful careful with olive oil okay um as well and you know you can have some issues with your gallbladder i don't even know what that is every time i hear it i just hear about goosebumps i don't i don't even know if that is a correlation maybe some of you guys used to watch goosebumps when you grew up okay but yeah i don't i don't i don't know all right so just be careful with that all right a lot of you guys don't really like heavy duty work you know you're not no motherfucker that's gonna be working in no factory like i can't do labor work i can't do i can't do none of that okay now let's talk about rabbits in your careers okay so rabbits are very brilliant y'all are quick thinkers you are completely honest okay so there are comfortable working uh with accountants because, you know, you just got to be honest. Oh, I have to take this call, guys. Give me a second. Okay, rabbits, I'm sorry. I had to take that call, okay? I had to take that call. All right, so back to the rabbits, okay? Um, rabbits are very meticulous about the area, so they like their house clean, okay? Rabbits don't really like a lot of mess. Rabbits are much more intelligent than they may look, and they work hard then people realize so they're given a lot of time they will succeed in their career and their choices okay so just know that uh rabbits are very adventurous they represent refinement and high standards okay i think that the one i ended the video though i was somewhere else wasn't i i was on y'all career where was i at when i ended the video damn um y'all being strong okay so let me get back to where i was at all right so rabbits when it comes to your careers okay rabbits are very brilliant you guys are quick thinkers you guys are completely honest so they are compatible with working as an accountant y'all are good with finances and business you guys are good with banking and risk and the alice i'm sorry i can't say that word risk I can't say that word analysis thank you analysis okay so you guys are people who can you know figure out where the risk are and make adjustments like you know this is where you need to cut corners this is where we could save more shit like that okay um rabbits they may become very like civil um servants i'm sorry i'm burping dealing with people who need help so these are people who like to solve a lot of problems for people you know food banks crap like that you know i'm not trying to be disrespectful but you somebody who like to solve problems for people you know what i mean um if you if one career doesn't work out for you uh you'll find another one okay it's not even hard with their refined nature it is inspiring and they're very drawn to the world of art uh you guys are drawn to antiques other things of beauty you know you could buy something just because it's bedazzled you could buy something just because it's pink you could buy something just because you like the shoe color you could buy something because you just like the color you know you could buy it in every fucking color you could be a little obsessive you're like damn bitch how many you like well, i wanted in red then i seen it in green then i was like oh my god i gotta get it in blue so you know you could be very ob obsessive like that um uh some of you guys may work as jewelers you may be a custom jeweler you know you might ice people out uh you know something like that but you might like jewelry too you, you might like to be iced out loud out all out, out all right but your sales will be very high end like whatever it is you like high end shit okay uh there may be work as a writer some of you guys could be librarians some of you guys could be artists. Some of you guys even could be designers, okay? Just in fashion and things of that nature. You will excel in public relations, so you may become more, uh, you know, diplomatic. You guys could be lawyers. You guys could be judges. And you guys could be court reporters. You know, you could always know the tea. Like, bitch, did you hear about, okay? That could be a lot of how your sentences start, okay? Now, if you are the rabbit, let's talk about your love, your relationship, and your friends. Who you should hang with and who you shouldn't. 
rabbit makes intelligent friends okay so when you got a rabbit friend you like you know what let me call whatever because she don't know okay and people know that people go to you for intelligence okay your sense of humor makes them very interesting too like you know you're you got a great sense of humor you great to be around as a lover you may attract those who want to take care um you may attract people who want you to take care of them you know like you you they mama or you they daddy okay uh, you could be a motherly or fatherly type, you know, always trying to nourish and solve problems. Be careful with that, okay? Other rabbits are hard to place with anger nature that burst out from time to time. So, you know, you could be taking care of somebody and nourishing them and you could be like, bitch, you need to get a job. You're like, damn, what the fuck, okay? So, you know, you could take things and take things and take things, okay? Until so you be like, uh, I ain't taking this shit no more, okay? So, be careful. Um, you could be a rabbit and you could be very sarcastic mm -hmm, to the point where it's harmful. You like, mm -hmm, that sofa got a groove in it because your ass been in it too long. Okay. So you could be saying shit when you get to a higher level. All right. But you enjoy everyone around you, them highly unsettled and unhappy. So you even enjoy being around people that's grumpy. You enjoy around being people that's happy. You know, you just like people who how they are. But you could be very sarcastic to the point where it's harmful and very difficult, okay? Uh, you could also get mad and start slamming doors, okay? Rabbits disrespectfully need tenderness, understanding, trust, security with close friends and someone who understands them who can put them in their place. So you do need somebody who, you know, jack you up and make you feel like, you, you know what I'm saying? They don't even put their hands on you, but you need, you need to jack up sometimes. You're like, okay, I'm checked. I'm checked, okay? Now, who are you compatible with? You need to ask these people their gear, okay? Numerology is very important in a relationship and it will save you a lot of dead end relationships, okay? So, when it comes to a relationship dealing with a rabbit, you're most compatible with people born in the goat year, people born in the dog year, and people born in the pig year. These are the people you need to deal with. These are the people you need to look for compatibility as a rabbit. Now, if you wanna do love and relationship, okay? love and friendship love and friendship with horses snakes and oxes okay people born in the horse year you can love them and you can be friends with them people born in the snakey there snake year you can love them and you can be friends with them and people born in the ox year you can love them and be friends with them you are not compatible with a dragon okay uh you are not compatible with a rooster somebody born in a rooster year and you are not compatible with someone who's born in a rat year i don't care how fine they look or whatever it is when you find out this year you're gonna be like this is not gonna work let me know in the comments if you try to buck it and tell me if it worked okay um signs that have no particular effect on one way or the, another is a tiger which is me okay and then you got the rabbit and the monkey so the tiger years the rabbit years and the monkey years they do not affect your relationship compatibility you could get along with them you could not they could just be space fillers in your life okay all right so let's move it on up moving on up all right so scorpio i mean sorry so rabbits let's break you down by year so if you are born in 1975 this is the wood rabbit this is means that you're the green thumb rabbit you could love to plant you could love having your yard look amazing you could care about the plants you could hug trees you can go into nature you could love go to a park you got to just put a goddamn you know plant on your porch you got to be some plant somewhere you got to have some plants okay now wood rabbits are very conventional very intelligent quite modest with compassionate natures so they often help others who are less fortunate and they sometimes do this in secret they may find careers in sports and athletics or investigation or social workers okay so 1975 you know you guys could be in the field of social work you could like investigation you could like athletics okay um you could be an athletic coach you know you know you know what it is all right you know who these people are all right now you have the fire element which is 1987 all right so if you're born in 1987 shout out to my 87 babies all right you like fire you like candles turn off the lights okay and maybe you like candles all right now these rabbits are artistic they're very creative but they are highly strong emotionally okay unusually 
uh, and probably psychic. Okay, so these people born in 1987, you know when a nigga lying. You know it. You like, nigga, I ain't got no proof, but I ain't need none. Okay? Uh, you guys could be in the medical profession. Okay? Uh, you also could also do alternative therapies, like, you know, aromatherapy and essential oils or ice therapy like you get into a bucket of ice or you like taking cold showers and shit like that okay rabbits born in 1987 okay now for rabbits fire rabbits are very cheerful so you you know you, you get you a little cheer on okay you could be like one of the people who like busting out a freestyle every now and again you're very cheerful and you're very popular everybody knows your name do 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 and devoted to their partner and their children. So if you're born in 1987, you love your man. You love your woman. You love whoever you with. You like, uh-uh, that's my baby. That's my heart. I do whatever I need to do for my kids. You know, you serious about it. You serious about it. Now let's move to the earth rabbits. These are people from 1939 to 1999. Now, you guys are logical rabbits, okay? You want quiet in your life. You don't want a lot of people that's rowdy and annoying and obnoxious, okay? They need to feel secure. So they are very careful with their money, okay? They ain't trying to be out here just broke. And they value education for themselves and their children. They are apparently, they, they, are, pro pro uh, they are appropriately fulfilled with their family life, okay? So they love just staying at home with their family, doing shit with their family, calling other people so they can have family night, game night, family this fucking thing, you know what I mean? They just family oriented. This person is very logical and sensible, and they want ordinary jobs, okay? They want an ordinary life. They, they, they okay with having an unfulfilled life. Not unfulfilled, but uneventful. Like, I could just stay home every day as long as my kids is fed and, and they good and my bills is on. I'm okay. You know, I can pay a little couple. Some, somebody, just, some people just okay with a mediocre life. This is how people born... In 1939 and 1999 are okay they can have an uneventful life and it's okay with them they don't they don't got to go to the club every week every eight days they ain't got to do none of that they they so okay with just chilling at the house it's good now let's talk about the mental rabbits this is 1951 and 2011 okay these unusual people might be into antiques or collectibles okay so this person may have like oh this is a antique blah 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 you know that tv show you be like oh what how much is it worth so these people love this channel okay they watch this channel they be like yeah i want to do that okay so this person really do like antiques and crap like that and they could have collectibles like i have all of the dragon ball z collection from 19 like you like god damn nigga the dragon ball z okay so and these people could have comic books you know they could collect all kinds of different things okay but they like collectibles um they also surround themselves with a lot of junk you know because people be hoarders a little bit you know i ain't trying to be disrespectful i'm just telling you you can have that hoardable trait you know what i mean i don't know if i made up a word but who gives a fuck um, but they need their own company at times and to be friends at other times. Okay. So sometimes they social and sometimes you be like, damn, where that damn rabbit go? You know, they gone. Cause they don't, they don't want to be bothered. Okay. They just be isolated like a motherfucker. All right. Then we have the water rabbit, 1963 to 2023. All right. The water rabbit is very sensitive, but they're romantic and they're caring and they're easily upset okay so if you don't open the door you like what's wrong with you you ain't open the door okay so somebody could be real mad real quick you like damn bitch you kind of crazy all right but they live in unconventional life maybe as creative people or as a traveler or you know you know how some people you like how the fuck did this nigga live he in bosnia he in mexico he in japan he he in Toronto. He, he in toronto then he leave he go to arkansas then he in alaska you like god damn okay this person's instagram could be full of different experiences and different places that they travel around the world okay which is great okay but uh they don't put down no roots you know they they are flying you know my papa was a rolling stone okay so they stone just keep rolling okay uh this is a water rabbit they're born in 1963 or 2023 okay they never have wealth they prefer to experience life than to 
you know, store up everything, you know. So this is somebody who get a lot of money and they buy it on the ticket. you like, damn, how you gonna eat tomorrow? They're like, the God will provide. The universe will provide, okay? So these are the kind of rabbits that they never have wealth, but they prefer to have experiences. So they use their money. They don't save, you know what I'm saying? But they have a lot of experiences to show you that they've done these things. And that's what they use their money when they come here to reincarnate and do, okay? So this is the, the year of the rabbit. These are all the years that are affected by the rabbit. We're not in the year of the rabbit. We're in the year of the dragon. And I'm going to do a, 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 a video just for each and every one of you guys to let you know what is going to happen to you in the year of the dragon. Because I don't like to teach you something and then don't teach you all of it. Okay, so this is the year of the rabbit. Y'all in the comments, let me know if this was educational. If you like fucking with this shit, you know, I'm an a la carte religious person. I like to take different religions from all over and, uh, you know, make it work for me, okay? Because if the check is strong, you know I want it, okay? Because money is not evil, but the intent behind the money is what makes it evil, okay? Now, let me see what else I need to tell y'all, all right? Rabbits like repetition. Uh, they love being, you know, uh, loved, taken care of. Uh, they have a good passion for plans and being comfortable in a later life, okay? So they like to make plans for the future and like to have some kind of nest eggs for the future as well. They are very friendly. They are decent people, but they can be very misunderstood. So rabbits are sometimes misunderstood. Rabbits may put out a step of... May, hold on. Rabbits may be out of step with their parents and siblings so they go their own way without taking their family likes and dislikes into consideration so most rabbits don't give a fuck if you agree with what the fuck they got going on or not if you if you they mama they daddy they cousin they like look i gotta figure it out for me nigga so get the fuck on okay and that's good you know what i mean sometimes this is a matter of survival because trying to please their relatives could destroy them they can be fussy talkative self-religious or just obnoxious but most have more common sense than they put on all right they can be somewhat mysterious and they may be very intuitive at points and in seeing psychic stuff so a lot of you guys can see things and see right through people okay and you can't take all these relatives and all these people fucking perspectives you know what i'm saying because their life is all over the place too all right, so rabbits are very intelligent. Y'all work hard. You are people who realize that time is only given in order for you to succeed in a career or to make a choice, all right? This is really good. Um, although not necessarily, rabbits are good looking people, okay? They often be very interesting and quiet and charismatic. So they do well with the opposite sex. They are friendly, okay? But they do, they are misunderstood. So some of them could be very quiet. And you like, look, if you can't talk up, bro, we can't be together, okay? So just know that, you know, rabbits are very sensitive. They behave very tasteful. But they have some, some times where they be sobbing and crying a lot, okay? But nobody really knows that they are sob. Nobody really knows that they're going these, through these transitions, okay? They like to look cool. And they're able to do anything, okay? So if you get this nigga something, this nigga could turn into Bob and the Builder right in front of you. Like, damn, nigga, how you learn how to do that, okay? Um, but they are quite, uh, you know, sensitive, all right? And they don't like, they don't mind causing drama, but they get upset if someone else decides to make a fuss, okay? So I don't know what that means. It's like, I'm gonna read it again. They don't mind causing drama, but they get upset if someone else decides to make a fuss. So that could mean like a bitch could be very aggressive, you know, annoying, you know. But if you say something, it's like, why you got to say something? I don't know. That's not good. That's not a good trait. That could be a low vibration. But, you know, low vibrational rabbits are very fussy. They're complaining. And if you bring a problem to them and you bring a problem, if they bring a problem to you and then you hit them back with a problem, they don't like that shit. They're like, uh-uh, deal with my problem first. Okay, that's what Spirit is saying to me. All right? So this is uh, everything you need to know about a rabbit. I love you guys. And I hope this video gave you some kind of inspiration, uh, inspired you in some kind of way. Let me know in the comments if you resonate with this video. I love you guys and more are coming. Bye, guys.